everybody welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to talk about the weird things of friends so I've been living in France for just under a month now and I wanted to do a video like this because I picked on Australia and I picked on Sweden so now I guess it's France's turn and I have noticed some things that are a bit different um, to what I'm used to so I thought it'd be fun to talk about those Let's start with one of the really obvious ones, is the kissing on the cheeks. Now in France, depending on what region you're in, you might kiss um, each cheek two, three, four times, however many times it is. And I find that so odd because to me, you kiss your partner. That's pretty much all you need to kiss. And then to make things even worse, they find hugging really intimate and like, off. I'm like, what? Like, this is how I connect to people. I hug them. So that has been quite unusual for me. The first time someone came to um, kiss me on the cheeks, here in Grenoble, by the way, it's just two kisses, which isn't so bad. I'm glad it's not anymore. But anyway, so um, my boyfriend, he just came to introduce me to one of his friends. And so um, the guy came up to me and he kind of just put his like, face there and I was like what do you want from me and because he was a bit older I thought maybe he was he just couldn't hear properly so I was like oh my name's Alana and it was just really awkward and everyone was like no you're meant to kiss him and I'm like what <laughs> so that was my first experience with the whole kissing culture here wasn't successful the first time but now I'm a little bit more used to it and I don't yeah, so now I want to talk a little bit about um, when you go to a store, especially like the smaller businesses. Uh, I know in Australia, at least, when you enter a store, generally a staff member or owner will come up to you and be like, Hi there, how are you going? Um, can I help you with anything? All that sort of stuff. Um, whereas here, the, the actual person who enters the store is meant to say hello to the owner. And from what I've been told, this is because it's like you might, uh, especially for those small business businesses, it's like you're entering their own home. And just as you wouldn't just come into your friend's house without saying hello to them, you have to say hello to the store owners. So that's interesting. And I kind of like that because then it doesn't feel like you're getting pressured all the time. Um, by staff members coming up to you like, hey, how can I help you? Do you like this? Do you want that? Can you buy that for me? Oh yeah, that's just $200. Do you have that sort of money? <sighs> so I'm actually, I kind of like this one. Now, I really want to get to this point because I have so many things to say about it, but driving here is ridiculously intense. So for starters, you guys are on the right side of the road which I know Australia's the odd one out here, but to me it still feels weird. Um, and okay, driving here, I know France has a reputation for being kind of crazy, and that's because it actually seriously is. Like, I'm surprised I don't have more crashes here. For starters, um, beeping is happening 24 seven. You can probably hear it in more of my other videos, but I've got um, a street just beside me which is quite busy and it's just beeping 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 constantly especially like in those peak hours <sighs> um then when it comes to parking here people oh, they just i don't know if they know how to park or not because it's ridiculous there's um some of them will literally just put their hazard lights on stop in the middle of the road get out of their car and go do whatever they need to do and like cars are just swerving around them like whatever that, that's a park now oh, it's crazy like I don't understand that at all you're just stopping in the middle of the road with your hazard lights on and you're using it as a park like okay and sometimes they park so close to each other so you've got like a little gap like this on the front of the car and then a little gap like this on the other side of the car and I'm like how are you actually meant to get out like you're stuck here until one of those other cars leave and you have no choice about it. I have no idea how you'd actually get out of that situation. 
On top of this, if you have ever driven on the highways here, they have so many tolls. And the weird thing about it is, so you might have about three lanes or something coming into the toll, and you choose your line or whatever, pay your fee, and then you come back out, and there's just no lanes for a good 100 meters. So cars are like, you'll have the car going straight ahead, and you'll have a car crossing over this way and this way. It's just a mess. And it's like, why wouldn't you have just drawn those lines there? And, but I mean, at the end of the day, no one follows any road rules here. They go through red lights, they don't indicate, they just push in everywhere. It doesn't matter if their lane says lefts only or right only, they'll go straight ahead or whatever. They'll do a U-turn here, even though it's not meant to happen, but that's French drivers for you. And it is hectic. When I was on um, the freeway the other day, you had, I don't know, three lanes or whatever it is. And you know how you have that lane on the outside, which in Australia at least, it's used for emergencies or whatever, so you're not actually meant to drive or park on there for any reason except for an emergency. Well, because the traffic was slowing down, the French people just decided to make it as another lane. So there was like 20 cars that passed me on this lane that didn't exist 20 seconds ago. It just, they were like, well, it's traffic, so I'm gonna make another lane. Anyway, um, when you are walking, so if you're a pedestrian here, it's odd because um, the street lights, generally everywhere I've gone, you press a button and it lets the street lights know that you want to cross the road. And then of course it turns green for you and you get your turn. <clears throat> Whereas here, they must have sensors in the ground or something because you don't press anything. And I don't know, to me, it feels like I've forgotten to do something and I, I really hate waiting around because I'm like, I haven't pressed a button. I don't know, and that just feels really weird to me. And also, here, it's like a race line. So they've got their little zebra crossings for the pedestrians. And I think the rule is that the traffic actually doesn't have to stop for you until you're on the white lines. So cars will literally race you to it and try and beat you there. And even once you're on those lines, they like try and um, rush past you and beat you. Like, <sighs> and there's so many near crashes just outside my house every day. Like, ridiculous. Another thing, as a pedestrian, you have to watch out for dog poo. They do not have any laws, or maybe they do, and they just choose to ignore it, um, but they do not pick up their dog poo at all. And it's just scattered across the streets, like whatever. That, that is one thing I would probably change about here. It's just something like so quick and easy that would make um, everything feel that little bit better, I guess. Um, Another thing would be their toilets on the street here. Kind of like Sweden, they have toilets for both men and women in lots of different places. But then also on the street, I'm not sure if this is just in Grenoble, but they have these, um, I don't even know how to explain it. But basically, it's like you've got one wall here and then a half wall on the other side. And you can go to the toilet in them, but then anyone passing, can kind of see that you're using the toilet. It's just really weird. I'm gonna pop a photo in now. I've never actually seen anyone use them, but they're there and it's kind of odd. Other than that though, I think that's pretty much everything. I'm really liking being here. Um, most of the people that I've met are super, super nice. Um, the friendly people, they always help out. They're quite good at English actually and I do like their way of life here. I do feel like it's a bit more relaxed in a way compared to um, my lifestyle in Brisbane. Um, I like that everything, at least in Grenoble, is within walking distance and I like that their public transport is super, super fast, um, super fast and frequent. Um, I can rely on public transport to get anywhere right now. I also just like that it's part of Europe. <laughs> it's so nice that they have um, 
their agreement saying that any European can kind of travel to all those countries and work there and get their education and all that. I really like that about Europe. That's just a little bit about the weird things of France. I'm really liking it here and soon I'm hoping to make a video of me just speaking French. But until then, I'll see you later.